joined by Keon Kalamatangi. Keon, you must have been happy with the team's performance on Saturday night in the Charity Shield. Yeah, it was massive. Um, you know, it's uh, you know, I don't see many many teams in trials. Um, you know, they can see points in the first half, and um, I, I feel like that was a massive improvement, uh, especially from the last couple of years. Uh, we're coming to this year wanting to be one of the best uh, defensive uh, teams in the comp, and it was good to start um, like that. And I don't think their first points was until about 50th minute. Um, so it was great, um, you know, to start there, and you know, we can build onto the season. Mate, how was it playing in the heat down there? About 38 degrees. I, I wasn't down there this year, but it looked really hot. Yeah, um, it, it was. Yeah, it was, it was bloody hot. I'll tell you that. But um, no, it was good. I, I reckon it's probably the you know best conditions for a preseason game to get the lungs going and heading into the season. But um, no, that when I came out in the second half, it was bloody hotter. So yeah, it didn't help. But uh, I was cramping up, cramping up there, so I had to leave. I had to get off the field. But um, no, no, it was good. It was, it was good atmosphere. I love playing in Mudgee and you know going to you know those towns there and they don't see much football and you know you see how much the fans love it. So I like. Mate. You just said you love playing footy in Mudgee. You scored a couple of tries down yeah. there as well the last few years, but no, nah, you didn't cross uh, the line this year. Nah, um, nah, too many, too many tries in the middle for the for the big boys, which is good to see. But um, nah, hopefully a few in the, during the year. Yeah, we spoke to Cam earlier, and he said, like you said about the processes, uh, it was really good that you went out there and did what you're trained to do. Yeah, we, um, you know we've done a lot of uh, work sort of going through the middle because uh, obviously we, we know what Cody and Latrell brings out out on the wings and um, you know it just brings us another threat during, in the middle so you know compress them and then and then, then we can shift the ball to our, to our um, you know playmakers that give us uh, points so no it's good um, you yeah, know it's good to see the, the middles get rewarded for their hard effort you know was, yeah, as you said it was, a, it was a hot game and you know seeing the middles uh, you know Tommy uh, Davey as well you know get over Jai as well yeah it's good, good to see them get over. We've got a new coach on the coaching staff, Sam Burgess. What has he done to help you in terms of your game uh, moving forward? Oh, probably, probably didn't say on the weekend, but you know, he just got me, you know, th trying to make me a little bit more angry and trying to sort of play like him. You know, his mentality, you know, come out and just trying to, you know, whack people and, and hurt people, trying to get a dominance over the next uh, over the uh, opposition forward pack. Um, you know, because I'm sort of a, you know, bit of a softy, so it gets me gets me something to get me going, but. Um, you know, I'm sort of working with Sammy to try and get, you know, try and get, you know, sort of that that darker side out of me into the onto the field. Um, you know, which you know I'm not really used to, but I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to do that, and hopefully I can build that during the year. Mate, you might be a softy in the family, but uh, one person who's not, uh, that's your sister. Oh, She's yeah. playing with the Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah. We've heard some really good raps about her. We live-streamed the game the other day. Yeah. Uh, we had Shane Millard and Barry Ward speak highly of her. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your sister. No, um, yeah, she's a, a bit like me, sort of quiet and, you know, sort of, uh, you know, quiet achiever. And uh, she had her first game on the weekend. I think when she played here, she was 18th man, but uh, they played uh, Newcastle, up in Newcastle. So uh, it's good to see her, like, um, she's always sort of supported me and uh, always wanted to sort of play football. And it's good to sort of see her, you know, sort of go on a bus with the girls and, you know, sort of experience something like that that I used to experience. And I know she loved it and, um, you know, she's sort of just getting into that footy culture and, yeah, she loves it. She always has her friends over, and um, no, nah, it's good to see her enjoying a footy. Mate, speaking of experience, the World Cup will take you back a couple of months. Uh, you got the opportunity to play in the World Cup over there. Yeah. What was it like playing in the north of England? Oh, uh, no, it was good. Uh, I heard a little bit of you know the weather and all that was a bit different, but the first two weeks when I was there, it was actually pretty sunny, so I was surprised about it. But um, by the end of it, I sort of got a bit over it. The London, and yeah, I got a bit. Um, you know, the food in that wasn't too good. I'm a big coffee drinker, and the coffee was terrible. Yeah. Um, so I, don't know, I might have to try, try my best to play a few more, few more years here, then head over there yeah. uh, in Super League. But no, it was a great experience. I've always wanted to play for Tonga in a World Cup, and for me to be able to, you know, do that and uh, tick off an accomplishment of mine, you know, I'm very grateful. Mate, and you ticked off also. You played a couple of different positions, and oh, yeah. you played nine there for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it was good to play nine. You know, I told JD when I came back that they overpaid Cookie. So I need some of his money, so yeah, for me to stay. So no, I told Cookie he's a bit overpaid, so it's pretty easy that position. So yeah, yeah, mate, it must have been special to have mum and dad over there as well in the family. Yeah, no, um, you know they they sort of wanted to come, but you know, uh, you know, obviously, you know, with them working and that, they didn't know if they could get the time off. But you know, they made an effort. Um, you know, yeah, very grateful that my parents were able to come over there, experience with me my first uh, World Cup, and you know, I'm very thankful. Not many parents would do that for the for the kids. So for my parents to do that, um, I'm very very blessed. We had a chat to Izzy live and free on Bunny's TV. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't shut up about that. Uh, so he's a bit torn now. He's got one in the doggy system, yeah. South, and he's, he's no one at the Eels. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he was trying to 
tells me I, I'm off contract at the end of next year, but he's like trying to hit me to get a parallel. I was like, nah, never going there. But nah, um, you know, he just loves his kids, and wherever they're, they're going to play, he's always going to support them. So no matter where. Yeah. Now you've got a beautiful family, mate, and we wish you all the best in 2023. And thanks for joining us no, on Bunnies it. TV. Thank you very much.